So another Jaden Sancho video for you here. All the latest from the UK press, all the latest from the German press. What Builder having to say about Dortmund's attempts to hold on to the, one of their best players. What Graham Souness has had to say about United and the potential transfer. Plenty to talk about. Make sure you subscribe down below if you're new. Let's talk about Jaden again. Before I start, I just want to say this video is sponsored by The Athletic and a big thank you to The Athletic for continuing to support United People's TV right now in what is a very, very tough time for creators. There's nothing to create, there's no football to talk about, but The Athletic are doing plenty of content, original content on their website, including today's piece on Roy Keane and that magical night in Turin back in the 99 winning season. One of the best individual performances you'll ever see from a United player. So make sure you use the link in the description. You can get a seven day free trial and 50% off an annual subscription with United People's TV over on The Athletic. Make sure you make take advantage of it. It's a seven day free trial. If you like it, you get 50% off. What's not to like? But Jaden Sancho, there seems to be updates all the time and this one is the latest one. There was a story that started from The Sun and unfortunately, it's them. So you can't take it with any sort of Degree of certainty, but it's been picked up by everybody else in the UK press. And this is what it had to say. It said that United had agreed the length of Sancho's contract, had agreed the salary with Sancho, had agreed the bonuses and the buyout clause. And it's all been sorted in secret talks over the last few months. And the only thing remaining to be sorted is the price. Now, that would be a huge development for United. And while it sounds strange that even the idea of all of this being discussed prior to a fee being agreed with Dortmund, I think it's a similar sort of situation as what happened with Paul Pogba, Mina Raiola, United and Juventus. We sorted a lot out with Pogba and Raiola over that World Cup and United agreed a lot of that prior to agreeing the fee with Juve. So maybe we're doing the exact same thing again with Sancho. And at this point, it really looks like United are massive front runners for Sancho. There's no smoke without fire and right now, all of the news with Sancho is coming in United's direction. There are loads of other clubs linked with him, but it's just constant. Maybe it's just the way the press works right now because there's nothing to talk about. Let's link United with one of their major transfers and make loads of noise about it. But the noise is coming from Germany as well. The noise is coming from the UK and other sources. It's not just the UK press. So there's plenty of smoke here. It looks like United are front runners. I'll be honest, the biggest thing I'm worried about with Sancho now at this point i probably say is his wages, because United did so well with Bruno Fernandes and the wages he is on, and we've done so well, I think, since Ole Gunnar Solskjaer came in, in terms of reevaluating our transfer policy. So it looks like we might go the other direction and go back towards a big marquee signing with big wages in Jadon Sancho. I suppose the good thing about Sancho is that he would not only fit as a marquee signing, but he would fit in this new style of signing that Solskjaer has been making. Sancho would just be the biggest example of it. I just hope that we can keep his wages at, at a good enough level that it doesn't disrupt United's wage structure at the club in the same fashion that maybe Alexis Sanchez's wages did, because that caused a lot of problems. But that's what the UK press are saying. And in terms of the salary being agreed, this is what the German press is saying, Bild are saying that Dortmund are prepared to make Sancho their second highest paid player behind Marco Reus in a move which would make a substantial, substantial improvement on Sancho's current wages. Now, Dortmund do have history of doing this. They did it with Lewandowski, they did it with Aubameyang and they kept them both, two of their major stars, for another year before they left. Will they do the same thing with Sancho? It might happen and it all depends on whether United can come in with an offer that's good enough to sign Sancho and good enough for Dortmund to let Sancho go because Dortmund are a selling club. I've said it all along and you know it as well. They sell their players, they bring in replacements, they've got a fantastic business model and Sancho will be the latest example of a player who will leave for big money from Dortmund. Will it happen this summer? Will it be 130 million euros which is what's being touted? I don't know. I think the current climate with the coronavirus and the finances of all football clubs and players taking wage cuts and some staff members being furloughed, all parts of every economy are struggling and football included, no matter how much money these clubs have. Now, United have got cash in reserve so we can sign him. So maybe that won't be too important. But Bill is saying that Dortmund are prepared to make a huge salary offer 
to Sancho to keep him at the club. What do you think about that? Now, on top of what the UK and the German press have been saying, Sky Sports did a little piece where they asked Graham Souness what he thought about the potential transfer. I'm going to break it down into two parts, but this is what Souness had to say firstly about Sancho and United and the transfer rumours at the moment. I, I don't see it, unless the whole world's changed, I don't think you get into personal terms, length of contract, buyouts, clauses for this, clauses for that, until the two clubs have decided on a fee. I mean, that, the first thing is the two clubs want to agree. The rest comes second, so I'm not sure if that can be correct. Now, I think one thing that Graham doesn't understand there is that the world has changed. As I explained earlier with the Pogba and Raiola and Juve and United situation, that was a lot of conversations happening before the two clubs have agreed a price. Previously, that was tapping up. It was simple. But now the player agents have so much more power than they used to do that it's changed how transfers are negotiated. It makes it far more complicated for the club buying and the club selling, really. It just makes the whole situation more complicated. But it is what it is. The world has changed. And that's why I think these conversations can go on. Not that I agree with them, but they can. And this is what else Sooners had to say about the idea that United might be agreeing all these turns with Sancho before agreeing a price with Dortmund. Patrick, if you're Man United and you're doing that without, without getting a deal done with Dortmund, you will have your trousers taken down because they know the strength of your offer. They know, you're, you know you're, you're very much up for it. So you're taking away any negotiating power if you go down that road. Um, you could do it behind everyone's back, but the fact it's in the public domain, and the fact that someone from Dortmund, someone from Dortmund, is saying that they're speaking, the player has spoke to Man United. I don't see that being a gore, personally. Not in that, not, I mean, the transfer may happen, but I don't see it happening in, in that chronological way. I think there's going to be, has to be two clubs to two clubs, and then you get down to the nitty gritty of the things you, you mentioned. In this sense, I don't, entirely disagree with Souness. I think United massively overpaid for Harry Maguire. He's improved and he's got better, but we overpaid for him. But the same, same way I can criticise that, I can praise the fact that I think we got Bruno Fernandes for cheap. The fact that I think 50 million for Wan Bissaka now looks cheap and probably looked cheap at the time. In some deals, we're getting good deals. Some transfers, sorry. And in others, we're not getting as good. And maybe Sancho will fall into that category. But I think... As I said earlier, in this current climate of the coronavirus and everything and the impact it's having on football and the football transfer market that will come after it, I'm not sure it's the sort of climate where clubs are going to spend 130, 40, 50 million on an individual player. I think it all comes down to what Jadon Sancho wants to do. If he wants to push himself out of Dortmund this summer, then United will get the best deal because Dortmund would then have a player on their hands that doesn't want to be there. Whereas if Jadon Sancho is happy and prepared to wait another year, Dortmund can sit there and wait, and wait for that right price, their best price, and they'll get the best deal. I think they're going to be more the influencing factors than anything else because of what the coronavirus has done. But that's the, all the latest update on Sancho, from the UK press to what they're responding to it back in Germany, to what Graham Souness and the other Sky Sports presenters had to say about United's pursuit of Sancho at the moment. Where do you stand on it all? His wages, his whatever. There's plenty of questions still to ask, and I'll bring you all the latest updates on Sancho as and when they happen. I hope you're staying sane, you're mentally doing okay at the moment. It's tough for everybody being stuck indoors. I'm starting to feel like a caged hen here, but make sure you go outdoors, get your daily exercise. It does make a difference, but as always, stay safe and protect the NHS where possible. Until next time, though, take it easy.